Hey there, welcome back to another episode on the At Home Dive YouTube channel. As always, my name is Joey, and today we're in the kitchen making a classic. Since it's the holiday season, we decided to make gingerbread cookies. So sit back, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive right in. So today on the counter, we have a pretty simple list of ingredients. We're gonna start over here with three cups of AP flour, one half teaspoon of baking soda, and three quarter teaspoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of cinnamon, one tablespoon of ginger, one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and half a teaspoon of kosher salt, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, six ounces of dark molasses, three quarter cup of packed brown sugar, six ounces of semi-softened butter, and we have two tablespoons of milk. So, let's get started. To get going today, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the baking soda and, soda and powder and add it into the flour, along with all the spices and the salt, and we're just gonna mix those briefly. Now that those are mixed well, we're gonna move on to the sugar and creaming it in with the butter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by whipping the butter until it's loose and soft, and then we're gonna add in the sugar. Now that that's loose, we're gonna go ahead and add in the sugar and cream it in until it's smooth again. All right, now that those things are smooth, we're gonna go ahead and add in the molasses and the vanilla. And we're gonna mix again. And now we're gonna start by slowly adding in the flour. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go back and rake down the sides to get all the excess flour into the mix. And it looks pretty smooth, but we're gonna go ahead and add in one tablespoon of the milk. You may need the additional, but I think we're only gonna need one. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a final mix. All right, my friends, so that's our cookie dough itself. So now we're just gonna kinda of push this back out of the way. And we're gonna line out pieces of parchment paper about the size of our pans that we're gonna be baking on. And I'm gonna take approximately half of the dough, put it right in the middle, cover it with another piece of paper, and I'm gonna roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thick. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna transfer it over to a sheet and I'm gonna place it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same process with the rest of the dough. This is gonna be in the freezer for about 15 minutes, so while they're waiting, we're gonna go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 degrees and we'll come back and check on it when they're ready. All right, friends, we are back and after 15 minutes of the dough being in the freezer, as you can see, it's nice and firm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the piece of parchment paper and we're gonna start stamping out our cookies. We're gonna go through and stamp out all of our cookies and then come back and lift them. So we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process with the other tray and we're gonna get right in the oven. All right, so the cookies are all ready. We're gonna go ahead and go into the oven. We're gonna check on them in about eight minutes, although they may take up to 10. So it's actually been about nine minutes now and we're gonna go ahead and take these out of the oven. And as you can see, they are nice and beautiful, lightly toasted around the outside, but they're nice and soft in the middle. So that's exactly what we're looking for. All right, well that wraps us up on how to make gingerbread cookies. I used a standard buttercream icing and I'll put the recipe in the description below. Comment below and let me know how your cookies turn out. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. Have a nice day.